have said a word, even though some of you here claim to be religious because you're afraid. I'm not afraid. That's right. Come on. I come to stand by the Holy Spirit and call that which is wrong, wrong, and call that which is righteous, righteous. And when the Holy Spirit is come, this is what the Word of God says. When the Spirit of truth is come, it will convince and convict the world of sin. We're not here to look for applause. We're not here to look for you to tell us that we speak nice. We we hear that you may evaluate your life one more time before you reach the grave. You know why? Because there's no repentance in the grave. That's right. There's no repentance in the grave. Your family members can wish all they want, but when you die in your sin, hell is going to be your home. And hell is going to be a place of torment. So we come tonight that you may have life, and life more abundantly by bringing the message of repentance. You see, when Jesus came into the earth, he told man, repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. And I know you've been told that he died for you. And I know you've been told that he hung on the cross for you. But he said these words before he got to the cross. Repent, the kingdom of God is at hand. That means turn from your sin, turn from your homosexuality, turn from your lies, turn from your lesbianism, turn from your adultery, turn from your backbiting, turn from your hatred of God. Hallelujah. I'm from here to invite you to our church. I don't have one of them. Come on. I visit one every now and then mm -hmm. to see if the word of God has been preached in the earth. I come to tell you that you must turn to God. Jesus didn't come to tell man, you know, come and worship me. He come and he tell man, come follow me and follow me and follow me because if you don't follow me, you won't get the right teachings, you won't get the right way, you won't have the right truth because many religions in this earth is full of lies. Like Islam and Hinduism and Buddhism and all these stuff, they're full of lies and Rastafarism and Catholicism, all these things are full of lies and move your deity to serve a false god or idol. That's right. Jesus is the way of the truth. the life. But there's only one God. One hear ye, o, hear ye people, it's only one God. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your might, and love your neighbor as yourself. You see, I come here tonight because I love you just like I love myself. I don't want you to miss out on salvation. God doesn't have no old people home. Eight people, listen to me. God doesn't have no old people home because you live here for 67 years. God's going to put you in a, in a... God don't have no old people home for you. You're going to go to hell if you're not right with God. God doesn't have no juvenile place where you're going to put young people. You're going to go to hell if you don't get right with God. Come on. Jesus said, weeping and mourning and gnashing of teeth. That's what he said. He preached about hell. He said, if your right hand offend you, cut it off. And some of you got some people on your right hand. You know where the devil likes to stand? The devil likes to stand on the right hand of man. He said, when Joshua went up, the devil came standing at his right hand. And God said, no, Joshua is a, is a branch that I plucked out of the fire. You see, the devil don't have no place on my right hand. The devil don't have no place in my life. Why? Because I'm redeemed. I'm covered by God. I've got eternal insurance. But when you're living in sin, you got only one assurance, and it's to go to hell. Without, if you don't repent, touch. I'm coming here to tell you nice things. But really, we're telling you the rest of things right now. The nicest things. Right. I'm telling you the rest of things and the nicest things. That there is this awesome and wonderful God that's ready to forgive you in spite of how wicked you have been, in spite of how terrible you have been, in spite of how sinful you have been. He even made provision. The Bible says, while we were yet in sin, God sent his son to die for us. Amen, amen. Did Jesus just come and die for us? Hallelujah. You think if you don't come to Jesus, his kingdom won't be established? You think, you think God is in heaven waiting for you to bring him? You can't praise God unless you have an experience with God. That's right, come on. You can't praise God unless you have an experience with God. You can't understand the things of God unless He reveal them to you. Hallelujah. One of the things you know is that you're a sinner, but one of the things you have not yet experienced is Him as a Savior. Because you won't come to pass of how sinful you are. Some of you are sitting here, well, I'm not a homosexual. I'm sitting here, I'm not a lesbian. I'm, sitting, I'm not a thief. We all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You're incense. You're living it. That's right. I lived here for 30 years. 